It's time for the Doug Garrison Show. This week, we get the info on an upcoming reunion of employees and favorite customers of the old Northwood Supper Club. A favorite on the West End, Buzz the Gut, is right around the corner, and we get the details there. Marquette Mayor John Kivala joins us as he prepares to run for state representative. And some young guys called the Boys of Music Perform. So stick around. The Doug Garrison Show starts now. Until the house, two minutes. Stand by live to tape. Lighting to show level, please. Confirm front of house sound, PFL. Roll tape on masters to all the places. All right, let's clear the set. Cue John music, open stage mics. Stand by effects, stand by CG. Stand by to open up three, two. All right, folks, let's have a good show. Stand by, roll it in. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, folks, here at Upfront and Company. We've got a great crowd tonight. Thank you for joining us at home on Charter Channel 12 and Fox UP. And of course, you can watch the show, in case you didn't know, on Charter On Demand and at our website at thedouggarrisonshow.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Okay, there's all the, the news that I needed to get you caught up on. Um, I just wanted to, to uh, step back again. I've been doing this lately, let you know what I've been up to over the summer. This last weekend in Marquette, another huge, great weekend here. Uh, we had the Blueberry Festival downtown. We had the Outback uh, Art Fair. We had Art on the Rocks. Uh, just so many things going on. I know in the Marquette County area. I know they're going on throughout the entire Upper Peninsula. I don't mean to just focus on what's happening here in Marquette because I know there's plenty of uh, cool activities going on all across the Central and Western UP. So what I'd like you to do is let me know about them. If you've got something going on, uh, contact me through our website. I'd love to have you on the show to talk about it. Uh, and I'd love to come and experience some of these events and uh, activities that are going on. And I'm sure our, our audience would like to know about it too. Nothing like a day trip around the UP uh, to see the best of what we have up here. And certainly uh, uh, it's, it's a destination for people trying to get out of 108 degree temperatures too. So we'd like to know what's going on. Let me know what's happening in your area. We'd love to share it with our audience. Uh, as I said, the last weekend in Marquette uh, was awesome, and I'm looking forward to uh, an August that's going to be just as exciting. We've got a lot of events on the calendar, so it should be a, a great, uh, I'm going to say, end to the summer. I hate to say that because we hate it when summer ends, but, but as we go into fall, and there's going to be plenty of things going on then, too. Uh, last week, if you were with us, uh, you might remember our floor director, Kim Parker, celebrated a birthday. We had a good time with that. He reached a, a magical number. We won't repeat it here um, because he certainly doesn't act his age. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Today, we've got another birthday to celebrate. It's our, our producer from Thunder and Lighting Video Productions, Dave Poyer. It's Dave's birthday today. Let's give a round of applause to our producer, Dave Poyer. There he is. <laughs> Uh, at the controls. Thank you, Doug. Uh, let me tell you, the show uh, would, would not happen without Dave. Uh, he's, uh, he's quite a magician back there with, uh, with what he's able to do. You know, we bring a whole television uh, uh, studio full of equipment down here to Upfront every Tuesday. And there, there he's getting a birthday from our lovely hostess, uh, a birthday cake from Sherry. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dave never was good for table manners. But Dave, uh, happy birthday to you. Uh, he's a great guy to work with. We, we have a lot of fun. Those of you who work with people, you know that if you work with people you like, that you have a good time with, it doesn't seem like work at all. It's a lot of fun. And we certainly appreciate uh, uh, Dave here at the Doug Garrison Show. Okay, we've got some neat things tonight. We're going to talk about a couple events coming up in the area. We're going to have one of our favorite uh, characters back on, John Kivala. And we've got a, uh, a couple of young guys uh, going to be our musical entry tonight called uh, The Boys of Music. So stick around. We've got a good show. We'll be right back. All right. Zip. Zilch. Nada. Not a penny due when you drive away in your new Honda. Make no down payment on this Honda Civic and pay only $220 a month. With no first month's payment and zero deposit. Get this, not one, not ten, but 26 times the Honda Accord has been voted a top ten car. This one's just $250 a month with zero due at signing. Come pick out your new Honda at the new Riverside of Marquette. The Doug Garrison Show is brought to you in part by Bell Hospital and Bell Rehab Services. Safely take the road to physical recovery with Bell Rehab Services. 
and by Marquette Golf Club, home of the classic heritage and award-winning Gray Walls Golf Courses. For rates and information, visit MarquetteGolfClub.com. Okay, all right. You know, I was talking about all the events going on around the area in the summertime. Many of those are reunions, you know, your class reunions, family reunions. Well, there's one coming up that's kind of unique. With me is Maggie Mahoney here to talk about it. It's a reunion of the Northwood Supper Club, employees and favorite customers. You got it. Isn't that something? Yeah. You must have worked there for some time then. I worked there for 12 years. Life. 12 years. 12 years. And it, when, when did the Northwoods close? Uh, the North was closed about six years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was, and this is kind of unique and it caught my eye because it was an institution. The Northwood Supper it, it Club was an was. institution. It truly was. It's a piece of Marquette history. It opened in 1934, and it was family-owned and operated the entire time it was open. And um, I think because it was family-owned and operated, it really became a big extended family. Yeah, and now you're talking about family-owned and operated. Ron Klum, of course, was the main man there forever. How's Ron doing? He is doing very well. I just um, ran into him a couple weeks ago at brunch. He and his wife and his sister-in-law, and he's doing very well. Great. Mm -hmm. um, now, the, this, was this your idea to do this? Um, there's a group of us that got together last year and started kicking around the idea. And after a couple months, I said, you know what? Let's just quit talking about it and do it. So here we are. How's the response been so far? So far, it's been really strong. We've got about 75 to 100 people that are attending various events. That's and, awesome. um, you know, part of why I'm here is to try to get more because that's what the Northwoods was about. The more, the merrier. So anybody who worked there... Anybody that worked there, anybody that has great memories of the grand old place. Some of your favorite customers. Favorite anybody customers. Who, yeah. yeah, we had a lot of people that were in every Friday night or yeah. every Wednesday night or what have you. Those are the people we want to reconnect with. They're all, and they're all invited. They need to Absolutely. contact you mm -hmm. at, uh, what's the address? Woods Reunion at Hotmail.com. Okay, and you're, you'll take their reservations? I'll and take their reservation. I'll answer questions, whatever I can do for okay, them. Okay, and this is? The dates are August 17th, 18th, and 19th. Okay, coming up in a, in a few weeks. Right. Um, all right, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I, I, I have my own personal story from, from the Northwoods. Okay. One of the, my greatest lunches of all time, I was able to have lunch there with Ernie Harwell and his wife, Lulu. He was in town promoting a book, and I was invited by uh, a fellow worker at uh, TV6, Sue McQuaid, to join them for lunch. So it has a great memory in my mind. And, and, and I, I have to believe how many people had their wedding receptions Absolutely. there and anniversary part, all sorts of yeah. things. Yeah, I, I hear stories from people to this day of, oh, I, I took my wife on our first date there. I got engaged there. My prom date was there. So the, the place really has such a place in everybody's heart. And again, this is why we're doing this re reunion is so that those that didn't get a chance to say goodbye to the place, we can relive those memories and have that chance. You know, we're at different venues now because the place is closed, yeah. but um, it's still, it's the same face just different places. Yeah, and you got three days of activities planned. Yes. Briefly, a couple of things. Uh, Friday night, we're at the Ski Hill for a real casual barbecue, kind of a get reacquainted thing. Um, Saturday night, we are at the golf course here in Marquette for a dinner, and Jim and Ray will be our entertainment for years. Good. They did the Sunday night gig at the Northwoods, so uh, they're part of our family. Yeah. Great. And then Sunday morning, we're going to wrap up the event with a brunch out at um, Presque Isle and a brief little memorial service for those that, that we've lost. Uh, well, that mm -hmm. sounds great. If you if you were an employee at the Northwoods, or if you have feel a connection to it, contact Maggie. Be a part of this. You, you don't have to do all three days. Whatever, nope. pick and you, choose you whatever you want. You can pick and choose. Yep. Um, contact yep. me again at uh, Woods Reunion at Hotmail.com. I'll fill you in on the price structure. If you know of anybody that has worked there, spread, spread the word. The word. Yep. That's what it's about. Again, okay. you know, at Northwoods tradition. The more, the merrier. Sounds good. Okay. Well, my first date was at the Midway. That burned down. <laughs> I probably should have gone to the Northwoods. Okay. All right. Maggie, thanks for joining us. Thanks good so luck much. with the Northwoods Supper Club reunion, August 17th through the 19th. Okay. Stick around. We come back. We're going to buzz the gut. So don't go anywhere. All right.
Guess what? You can get any new or used car finance in the Marquette Community Federal Credit Union for 3.9% APR. New or used. Got your eye on this new Escalade? 3.9%. How about this 75 Gremlin? 3.9%. Looking at this stylish Dodge Dart? 3.9%. How about a new Chevy Cruze? 3.9%. RV, boat, tractor? 3.9%. What about this DeLorean Time Machine? 3.9%. 3.9% auto loans new and used at the Marquette Community Federal Credit Union. Stop in and apply today. Restaurants. The trendier they are, the more they charge. At Big Boy, we don't chase the latest trend because we believe value never goes out of style. Whether you order from our menu or enjoy one of our hearty buffets, you'll discover that good food doesn't have to be overpriced. Imagine being able to afford to take your whole family out to dinner. It's not a trend, it's what we do at Big Boy. The West End Update is presented by Fox Nagani. Find new cars, used cars, and one of the area's most respected service departments at Fox Nagani, only the best. All right, as I said, there's stuff going on in places other than just Marquette, and the West End is one of them, and uh, one of those events that people are looking forward to is called Buzz the Gut. With me is Terry Sorrell, one of the uh, event coordinators of that uh, fine thing. Now, you tell me this is the 11th year of Buzz the Gut. Yep, 11th year, and uh, we had a great year so far, and hopefully this year will be another great year. If you, in one sentence, what is Buzz the Gut? Uh, it's uh, fun with cars. Yeah. It condenses all of the uh, things from car shows down to a little thing. And it's just fun for the people who own cars. All the gearheads get together and have a good time. Now, you're, you're, you're a salesperson at Fox Nagani. Yes, I am. And, and all your guys that are involved in this, you're just a bunch of car guys. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Guys who love cars. Yeah. Uh, we've got a picture here of some of the cars that are a sample of the type of cars that, that, are, that show up. But, but basically, what, how would you categorize the type of cars that you invite to have in Buzz the Gut? Actually, it's open to everything. Yeah. If you think your car is you're cool, proud of your bring wheels. it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes back to the day when people used to take a car and buzz down the main street. That's yeah. where Buzz the Gut comes from. Yeah. And uh, maybe it was a really nice uh, Roadrunner uh, yeah. or Proud something. Yeah. Or your mom's station Bay wagon magnet. that she didn't know. <laughs> you took out that night or that, something. That's you know? right. So. Well, what's the route of Buzz the Gut? Well, we start at the Cliff Shaft parking lot. We go around Lake Bancroft. We go up Main Street, down through downtown Ishpeming. Then we go up to the senior high rise. We make a loop around there, and then we head to Nagani. And then we go to Nagani, under the Vidoc, we go up uh, Iron Street, make a loop back around and back under the Vidoc. So at one time on uh, the back road to Ishpeming and Nagani, we have all the cars passing each other, which is really, really makes nice. it fun. Yeah. And this is Saturday, August 11th, the week from this Saturday. Uh, anybody can participate? Yep. Do they need to contact you first? You can pre-register by calling Scott Perry at uh, 485-1234. Okay, or, or check, visit your website, buzzthegut.com. Yeah, buzz All the information's on there. And we're also on Facebook. But if you're proud of your wheels and want to show them off, yeah. now is that route, is that a route that typically guys took when they were just buzzing? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. That was a cruise. Yeah. You know, I, I like to, you know, we always say they don't make cars like, like they used to. Well, not exactly, but you being a car guy, they're making cars pretty good these days, too. Yeah, it's amazing what they're doing with the throwback cars, uh, Challengers and the Barracu or the uh, Camaros and stuff. It's, you know, they have as much horsepower as the uh, cars did back then, and it's just easy to drive them and the air conditioning and the whole well, the thing. Well, the cars, you know? if you, someone stops in your showroom and walk around, take a look at the cars and the stuff that is on these cars these days that are both for, for performance and for safety and for luxury. Uh, you know, I think we're kind of in another golden age of, of manufacturing here. Yeah, the horsepower wars are actually even back. You know, one guy comes out with 400, the other guy comes out four and a quarter, 500, and now they're just right off the hook with what they're doing nowadays. Yeah. What, what kind of car do you have in this thing? I have a 41 Chevy two-door sedan. Yeah. How long have you had that? Uh, since 1980. <laughs> do, do all the reconditioning yourself? Yeah, you so far I have. Yep. Yourself? Yeah. Um, uh, if, if someone wants to come in, they, they can just contact you through the website or just show up, but, yep. but they'd rather have contact. Just to let people know, this thing ends with a, a sock hop at the Elks Club from 8 to 12. You have uh, the Slam Tones, a very popular the local Slam band. Slam Tones have been they on the show. Uh, a have, fun uh, band. put on a good show that evening. We have lots of door prizes we give away. If you come to the show and you register, there's uh, little tickets that we put in every other, for so many, whatever, uh, of the envelopes. That gives you a chance to win a door prize later. So we have some nice door prizes. Yeah, and it doesn't cost anything to participate. Nope, and you get a free dash black if you register. 
That's great. Now you mentioned it gets a, you got a lot of sponsor support. Not too many to mention, but I know you just a kind of an overall thank you to all the people that helped yeah. pull this off. Most all the car dealerships have stepped up and done something for us, and uh, a lot of door prizes yeah. from people, uh, Snap on, Matco, all those guys step up and give us some nice things yeah. to give away. You mentioned something you got going on later this month at Fox Nagani. What was that? Uh, this month coming up in August, we're going to have at the Ishpeming Library, we're going to give them $50 for every car we sell towards Handicap Accessible. So that's kind of going to be nice for them. I know you guys at Fox Nagani and, and Bob and everybody there, great supporters of community events, and we certainly appreciate that. Yeah. All right, Terry, 11th annual Buzz the Gut. You'll be there. All your... your uh, your friends will be there with their wheels that they're proud of. Sounds like a good time. Nothing better to do on a Saturday summer night, right? It's been great so far. Sounds good. All right, buzz the gut. Terry Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. All right, stick around when we come back. John Keeble is with us, so don't go away. All right. Fox Nagani is proud to offer Chevy's total confidence pricing. Receive the same price as GM employees and suppliers, the lowest price guaranteed, and take an additional Fox family discount. Save with confidence on a brand new Chevy Malibu starting at only $19,839. Or take home a 2012 Chevy Equinox starting just under $25,000. If you don't love your new vehicle, you can even return it. Fox Nagani is more than a dealership. It's a relationship between us and our customers. Fox Nagani, Marquette County's hometown dealer, only the best. Enjoy the golfing experience of a lifetime every day at Marquette Golf Club. Our two 18-hole championship courses offer everything from relaxing family fun to competitive golf as challenging as that found anywhere in the world. Our custom rate structure allows you to choose a membership package that accommodates your schedule and budget. And we offer reasonable daily fees always available to the occasional player. In this day of green sensibilities, there's nothing more green than a day on the links at Marquette Golf Club. Okay, all right, all right, calm down. All right, we're going to get a little political here now. With me is uh, our mayor of Marquette, John Kivala, for a, another return engagement here. Thanks for joining us. You bet. Thanks for having me again, Doug. You know, people might think you're here because you're running for state representative, but that's not why you're here. No, I actually bought this appearance. You did. You bought this. You were the high bidder on my artwork, uh, which was in the, uh, the Children's Museum Celebrity Art Auction, and as a part of this... Prize, you uh, earned a uh, appearance on the Doug Garrison show, and you're taking advantage of that today. You, you bet. And if people look, get a good look at this, they'll <laughs> see that I really bought the appearance here. <laughs> I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, I thank you for supporting the Celebrity Art Auction and the UP Children's Museum. But you are, in fact, running for state rep. Your your term is ending as uh, Marquette mayor, and you can't run again. That's correct. Term I'm, limits? I'm in my sixth and final year as a commissioner and my fourth and final year as the mayor. So I'm, I'm done in November. Yeah, it's been a great run. I'm sure you've enjoyed it. It has. I, I love, have. love serving this city. I, lo yeah. I love it to death. So. Well, it looks like you've done a good job because the city's doing quite well. So something worked. <laughs> something worked. Take you some bet. credit for it, right? I, what I, the heck? You know, that, that's a hard thing for me to do. I've never been a me, me, I, I guy, but, yeah. you know, everyone that that is helping me says, you have to start doing that more. Uh, unfortunately, you so. do, but but you understand, too, that it takes a lot of hands, uh, hands right. to make that thing work. You bet. Uh, but you've decided now to run for state rep. This is the seat that Steve Lindbergh is giving up due to term limits. He was on last week. Correct. And, and we were talking. I asked him, what would you tell, uh, what advice would you give to your successor? And, and you actually listened to that and, and I, heard that. I, I did, and I, I found it very interesting because he brought up the fact that he would urge whoever got the job to really get there early and start building some relationships with people. And I thought, boy, that's spot on because that is really what, what I've pushed about myself and I think gives me the edge. And as an example of that, when I took office six years ago, we had all kinds of lawsuits going uh, we with, with our neighboring townships, especially. You know, you look at Market Township, we didn't talk. We were suing each other. We talked through attorneys. Yeah. Six years later, the township supervisor, who happens to be here tonight, is doing commercials for me no. on TV. No. Uh, and Dennis is a great guy, does a wonderful job, but that's the difference in establishing relationships, establishing trust with the people you work with, yeah. and working together. 
and I'm, I'm hoping that, that you uh, would plan to do that regardless of which side of the aisle these people are on. Absolutely, you have to. It, you, you, I think party politics is over as we know it. It's I certainly, sure hope so. It's certainly not working. Now, I'm not saying that you have to abandon your party beliefs and goals, but you have to be willing to work with people. You don't get things done. Well, you know, one of the things I noticed is that you're running as a Democrat, but that you don't really wear that, you know, that, that's, you kind of keep that at, at arm's length. You more just want to be our state rep. I, I, I want to be that guy. I don't want to be a party guy. I was right. born and raised as a Democrat. I've always held that close to my vest because, as you know, the last six years as a city commissioner, it's a nonpartisan office. Yeah. And, and I am a firm believer in keeping party politics out of local government. And so I've kept that very close. Um, but I don't want it to be about party. If, if you look at my record and what I believe in, I've, I've supported those beliefs. Um, I, I'm very socially liberal, and, and I'm, I, I don't make any bones about that, but I've become more fiscally conservative, both being in, in the private sector and working for municipal government. We simply don't spend money we don't have. No. That, those, who, who, who can argue with that? <laughs> I, I, you can't argue with that. Um, you know, one of the things, we're not really talking about issues here, we don't have time to talk about issues, but that's not important to me anyway, because I don't, I don't think a lot of people vote, particularly at a state level, uh, for people on issues. They, more for someone that they trust, believe in, and, and a character thing. Would you agree with that? A hundred percent. Issues um, change. Issues change, and again, if I get elected, I'm one of 110, and I'm one of the greenhorns coming in out, out of 110. I'm not going to change the state myself. All I ask is give me an opportunity and I'll use common sense in making decisions, period. We have just a minute left. Any specific issue though that is out there right now that, that is kind of important to you? Absolutely, jobs, jobs, jobs. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have lack of funding in so many areas in the state, it all comes down to money. You can't keep re-slicing the pie, you have to grow the pie and you do that by growing jobs. Real quickly, we're this close to getting an international port designation for Sawyer. That is huge. That, yeah. We're working very closely on the energy issue. We have 1% surplus capacity for energy in the UP. People aren't going to locate facilities here if they can't get power. So those are the big keys to put infrastructure in place to get companies to locate here. Government doesn't spend money to get jobs. You have to put infrastructure in place to attract them. Well, issues aside, I believe in you for the character issue that I mentioned. Um, good luck to you. If you're there, come back and talk to us again. We will. Right. John Thank Kevala. you, Doug. Thank you Elections for the opportunity. next Tuesday. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, stick Thank around you. when we come back. The boys of music. All right. Don't go anywhere. There are many reasons for pre-planning funerals. Peace of mind. Sparing family difficult decisions. Paying for tomorrow's services at today's prices. But none is more important than making someone's loss a little less empty. Contact Canale Tonella Funeral Home for their free brochure on pre-planning. Good friends, good food, good times. Sit long, talk much, laugh often. Quotes you've heard or seen hanging on the walls of kitchens. They're all true because a kitchen is the heart of your family's home. When you walk through the doors of Schwalbach Kitchens, you become part of our family. As we help you create the kitchen of your dreams, see how affordable creating those memories can be. Schwalbach Kitchens, part of your family and your local kitchen dealer for over 32 years. All right, once again, thanks for joining us here at Upfront & Company, a great venue for our bands and all the other entertainment that we have on the show here. Remember, uh, go to the Doug Garrison Show on Facebook and like us there. We appreciate that. Okay, another young band that we have. Uh, we like to feature these young guys up and coming, uh, trying to uh, uh, apply their trade, learn music, write music, create music, and uh, with us, uh, the uh, boys of music tonight, and John Rose, their uh, spokesperson. John, you've been on before. Actually, I've been on here three times. This is your third time? Yes, you, it is. With the School of Rock? I was with the School of Rock, and then I play here by myself you, about a year ago. You played by yourself. You're back. Yep. you got some new guys with you. Who you got with you, with you now? Who's on the end there? 
Uh, that's Nicholas Johnson right there on the guitar. Nick's, and Nick's been on the show before, too, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the other guy is uh, Jonathan Pila, a.k.a. Uh, JP. So. The other guy, JP. Okay. This How long have you guys time. been playing together? Uh, we started about two months ago at a uh, bar out in a Gwen called the Full Throttle. So. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Uh, now, I know you yourself write a lot of music. Yes, I do. But, but, but today we are going to, we're work in progress of making music right now, but today we're going to do some famous songs by some pretty famous armists. So. Okay, sounds good. We'll show your talents that way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the boys of music. Yeah. This is a little song for Doug Garrison. Robert's got a quick hand He's looking around the room He won't tell you his plans He's got her own cigarette It's hanging out his mouth He's a cowboy kid Yeah, long sick Should have gone In his dad's closet With a box of fun things I don't even know what But he's coming for you Yeah, he's coming for you all the other kids with pumped up kicks Better run, better run, I'll run my gun All the other kids with pumped up kicks Better run, better run, faster than my bullet Daddy works a long day He'll be coming on me, he'll be coming on me And he's bringing me a surprise Dinner's in the kitchen and it's packed in the night I've been waiting for a long time Now the side of my head is now a quick pull trigger Reason with my cigarette I say your hair's on fire yeah, Your muscle lost your wits All the other kids with pumped up kicks Better run, better run, I'll run my gun All the other kids with pumped up kicks Better run, better run, faster than my bull Take away, Nick! With the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, I'll run my gun. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, faster than mine. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, I'll run my gun. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, faster than With the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run faster than my bullets. Yeah! Are you ready to make some music? Well, Jim's Music and Teaching Center is where it all starts. A great selection of instruments and the area's best music teachers make Jim's Music your one stop music shop. Jim's Music has name brand instruments, new and used. Plus, they rent and repair, and they have everything you need for school band and orchestra. Jim's Music, locally owned and operated for more than 25 years, and now in four locations. Jim's Music and Teaching Center, where music makes you smarter. Insurance has you covered. Located on Washington Street, Marquette. The Doug Garrison Show is brought to you in part by Iron Bay Computer and Design. Iron Bay gives you the quality and service you demand. 
and by Cliffs Natural Resources, a global mining leader with local investment and impact. Cliffs Natural Resources. All right, I want to thank our guests. We had Maggie Mahoney from the Northwood Suburb Club Reunion. Uh, we had Terry Sorrell from Buzz the Gut and Marquette Mayor John Kevela running for state representative and, of course, the boys of music. And I want to thank you at home for joining us here on the Doug Garrison Show. We'll see you next week.